Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars! I hope you guys are having a good one today! Today we continue looking at the uh, zombie token deck. Waka waka ee! Level 4 opponent here. Um, yeah, I, for a second I was forgetting what deck we've got. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Oh. Oh. Oh crap. It just dawned upon me. Um, this is beautiful, but we don't have the lands to cast anything. Except Digraph. Well, okay, fine. I'll play Digraph Colossus as, as, as soon as I can. Follow that up with the Wayward Servant, I guess. And then um, I am going to be praying for some land, some colored land there. Yeah, Digraph Colossus can go next turn, that'll be fine. The only thing is he can kill Digraph Colossus. It is red, aggro red. Whoa. Discard. Madness aggro deck, 4-3. Oh. oh boy, we're gonna get hit and it's gonna hurt. <coughs> okay. Yep, I knew it, it's gonna hurt. We need some lands, come on game. Oh, oh no, are you kidding me? It's like a dream come true, the only thing that's missing here is the lands. We ain't got none. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh boy, this really sucks. Maybe I should have waited and played Anointed Procession. Inferno Fist, well, figures. He's gonna swing. <coughs> and then he can kill my Digraph Colossus when necessary. For... Yeah, only one red. Yeah, let's just keep blocking. Take it in the face. I mean, what can I do? Gosh darn it. This is bad, I should have... I didn't pay attention to the Lance, unfortunately. Yeah, he's gonna kill it, that's fine. Expect it. Come on, be land. Oh, okay, really? Fine. At the very least, I can play Anointed Procession. There we go. Let's move on. Now, we do need those lands. Like, real bad we need them. Well, this one, two, three. We need... Yeah, we need at least one land of any color. What is this? Giants... Borrowed Hostility. Oh boy. And yeah, that hurts. That really hurts. <coughs> it's a 9 4 with menace. Uh, am I gonna survive this one? Probably not. Definitely not. Okay, guys, well, what can I say? Um, yeah, anytime you could cast a sorcery. God damn it. Okay. Fine, we get two zombies. Menace, at least very at the very least I can block this. And kill it. But that's as far as it gets, unfortunately. He's still at three mana. If I make a comeback out of this, that'll be amazing, but I don't see it happening. Oh come on. Now he can kill one of the zombies. Yeah, and we're dead. Okay guys, that's game one. Let's move on to game two very quickly. Be right back. And we're back for game number two. I accept fully the mistake made in game number one. It had to do with me keeping very crappy lands. If I actually chosen to redraw, it would have been better. The, <coughs> the main mistake that I made there is I accepted a hand just because the creatures were amazing. Thinking everything else will be great, but yeah, that was stupid. Now, let's keep this hand. I'll start off probably with Forsaken Sanctuary into more... Yeah, whenever he attacks, I believe, right? Oh, Cycle or Discard. Okay, that's fine. Now, um, what do we draw into? Nice. So, let's go with this. The plan here is the following. Digraph Colossus into probably Lord into probably Undead Servant. However, I might do, do Digraph Colossus into Undead Servant and uh, well that is if we draw into lands and then after that i'll do lord of the accursed i have no intention of swinging with lord of the accursed but undead servant of course is gonna do some good stuff for us so one damage he has damage effects turned on his level eight lecomte 
Come on. Okay, now. Anointed procession. Oh, this just gets better and better, doesn't it? That's fine. So next turn, Ether Hub with the Diagraph Colossus. We need to draw into those lands, and then I'll drop Anointed Procession with the Undead Servant. That will be way better. Okay. And... What does he do? Come on, buddy. This Cemetery Recruitment is going to be amazing for us. An extra card draw. Not to mention we can keep on returning Diagraph Colossus every time he kills it. So there we are. There's the swing. And there's the one point of hurt along with the damage effects. Oh god, I think you guys can hear my son crying in the background. I'm sorry for that. He's falling asleep again. Um, <laughs> I guess I can take one more point of damage. The main reason for this being is I'd like to get Anointed Procession out before I do anything else whatsoever. <coughs> so yeah, that's the plan. Anointed Procession, Digraph. Undead, Lord of the Accursed. That's the plan for the time being. And, well, since our opponent isn't really putting on the hurt on us just yet, I mean, I can just stick with this plan, and... For some reason he hasn't attacked. That troubles me just a tad bit. But it's all good. There's the procession. There we go. And let's move on. So it will be Digraph Colossus right off the bat. Oh. Okay, for a second there, when he stopped the timer, I was afraid that he would remove Anointed Procession. Guess not. Oh, Unburden. What, what? What does this do? Target player discards two cards. Gosh darn it. Okay, this and this. There we go. Thanks for unburdening me, buddy. And he can put minus one, minus one counter, but since we have no creatures, we're good. Attack phase hits us. Um... No oh, well. <coughs> so that happened. It's okay. I still intend to keep this cemetery recruitment. What is he doing though? The timer has frozen it seems. Game is sinking. Okay, that's why. There we go. We get hit. He did miss that one attack. And that's favorable for me. There we go. Wonderful. He still has that two mana. He can burn Digraph Colossus there. Probably. That's what I think, but I'm going to play him anyways. Because if he kills it, let's say, next turn I can do Lord of the Accursed with Cemetery Recruitment. That's fine by me. Or I can actually even do Cemetery Recruitment and just get the Digraph Colossus out right off. That works too. Either way, let's move on and see what happens. Foundry of the Consoles, okay. Oh boy. I think this... This is getting a little bit intense. I have no idea why our opponent hasn't done anything, given now that he has 6 mana. <coughs> he should be able to do something, but we'll see. We shall see. There is the Dark Salvation. What is this? Oh, target player. Hmm. Okay. To one target creature. Okay. There we go. Diagraph Colossus is dead. It's all good. One point of damage to my face. So it's going to be Cemetery Recruitment, Diagraph Colossus. Again. And that gets us an extra card draw, which is wonderful. Okay, buddy, come on. Move on with it. We will be taking five points of damage next turn, so that'll hurt just a bit. Cemetery Recruitment. Is this the proper man tapping? Yes, it is. Diagraph Colossus, come back to me, please. Thank you. We drew into way... Oh, this is so good. Diagraph Colossus, out you go. Okay, he just needs to survive one turn. I do this and this next turn. Oh, wait. That's all I can do, right? I uh, one, two. Yeah, I have five mana here, so I can do only these two guys. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> I will get, what, four? Oh, this has haste. And he can deal four damage to non-dragon creature. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, that is a little bit more painful. Okay, we're at 7 health. Need to do something here. Gideon of the Trials. Hmm. I can play him with a Wayward Servant? No. Well, one way or another, I gotta play Wayward Servant. And then Lord of the Accursed. Right? Yeah. 
It's gotta be this. As unfortunate as it is. There is nothing I can do to bring back Diagraph Colossus. Maybe I should have played on the Servant or something. Oh well, at the very least I can block this. So I'm content with that. Next turn I guess I can do Gideon of the Trials and keep in Oketra's name on already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll negate the damage from the Glory Bringer. Hmm. And hopefully it will prevent his 4 damage from Exertion. Hopefully. We'll see. <coughs> We shall see. Anyways, upon this turn, we're still somehow surviving by the skin of our teeth. Oh, minus one, minus one counter goes on. Anything it goes on, it'll hurt. Horror of the Broker Lands. Hmm. Wow. This is not a good card. I don't even know why he has it. Okay. So minus one, minus one goes there. That's fine. If he attacks, I will be probably opting out to kill his Ruthless Sniper. And let this... Oh, he does not attack. That is very good for us. And there's our planes. Good. Now, Gideon comes out and I keep Inoketra's name. What is this? Oh, okay. I don't care about zombies gaining menace. But I have to prevent all the damage Glory Bringer deals to us. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> There we are. Let's continue. Gideon is out on the board. Skip the attack and continue. This is good. This is good. Let's see what we draw into next. It has to be token generation. A generation of some sorts because we're not doing too well. But at the very least his glory bringer does nothing. Lightning axe to wayward servant most likely. Or wait, can it go to Gideon? I don't think so. Okay, so it goes there, that's fine. Come on now. Ruthless Sniper, oh. Two minus one minus one counters go somewhere? Lightning Axe goes on this. Hold on. Target creature, okay. <coughs> okay. Deals X damage. Creatures, oh, he's going to deal damage to Gideon of the Trials. Easy. Five! How can he do it? Oh, damn! That hurts. That really hurts. So he's gonna swing straight for my face here? Oh my god. Okay, it seems like today we have two losses. Well, that sucks. Oh well. What can you do? Stuff happens. Lord of the Accursed. Well, I can even play this guy. And then, you know, Ketra's name. <coughs> but what difference does it make? We lost this. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, it's a crappy game. I mean, I don't think the game itself was crappy, but we lost. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will be seeing you. Really? I'll be seeing you guys. What is this card anyways? Tokens? Steer the lands. Whoa. Whoa, okay. That's a good card. Eh, uh, yes. Anyways, guys. Yes, thank you for watching. We lost this one. I'll see you guys next time. And that's it. Okay, then. Bye!